kept based on that performance. And at the same time, they also knew that that particular night, they weren't facing under Ward. So, I mean, you can't base it on that. I mean, I don't know, you look, you look pretty vulnerable, but you got to look at it from a real perspective and know that he's not going to be that guy when he steps in front of Andre Ward. But however, people that know Andre Ward should have known already that it's going to be a tough night for him anyway. Because Andre Ward is a guy who knows how to take a fight, take all the fight out of you, take everything you love to do away from you, <laughs> and now make you fight. <laughs> you think he's going to try to make an inside fight with Kovalev? Because he's he real good try, at that. He's going to try to make it nothing. He's going to make it whatever type of fight he needs it to be for him to win. Ain't if, no such thing as try. That's what he's going to do. If you were, you know, at light heavyweight when you were in your prime, which guy would you be fear most? Ward or Kovalev? Oh. <laughs> Or be concerned first about all, you. Don't fear all, nobody. Is, that's, that's, I got thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, second of all, you got to fear both of them because they have two different reasons to fear them. You have to fear them equally. Um, Kovalev is a hell of a puncher who has power in both hands. He's predictable, but he has power in both hands. He's a hell of a puncher. Um, so you have to fear him because of the power uh, aspect of the game. Andre Ward is a guy who knows how to take a guy and completely take him out of what he does best, and that means he's a technician. So you have to treat him equally because of his technique. And that's how it goes. Thank you, Roy.